Banyana Banyana coach Desri Ellis wants her players to forget about last Friday's result and focus on the game against England. England also come into the match licking their wounds after their defeat to Germany on Friday. But Ellis is aware that it is going to be a challenging encounter against a team preparing for next year's Euros. However, they are all looking forward to the match that forms part of a bigger process. It's a new game. Um, of course, we, we look back on that, but uh, it's a whole new um, opponent. Opponent that also just recently lost. You know, they're also preparing for the Euros, which is also next year. So it's a process for both of us. Um, you know, and we were glad to, to give some players an opportunity to see, you know, what they can offer. We have also some new personnel coming in that will strengthen the team a bit as well. But I think the enthusiasm is always there, the commitment is always there, and we're all looking forward to this new challenge. Banyana Banyana have the potential to upset any team in the world, as they showed during last year's World Cup campaign. But for that to happen in Coventry, Banyana need to be more organized defensively especially in the opening minutes of the match, while they have to make their opportunities count. We're playing obviously a, a, a higher-ranked opponent, a World Cup fi a finalist as well as European champions. But I think uh, players will learn from that. And uh, we're looking at obviously also being defensively sound, but having a little bit more in attack um, you know, and creating a little bit more opportunities because you can be defensively sound, but you also have to put the ball in the back of the net. So we're working on both defensive, our defensive organization and our attacking structure to make sure that we also create problems for them, you know, and uh, make sure that we are sound again the first 20 minutes because that's going to be key. Tembi Khatlana is expected to lead the attack for Banyana this evening after missing the Denmark match on Friday. The Mexico-based player has been instrumental for the South African national team for a number of years now. But she says for Banyana to be successful on the global stage, the structures in South Africa need to change. We play in professional leagues. We know some tactics, also taking the tactics that the technical team is giving us to be able to, you know, help the rest of the team with the experience that we have, especially playing high games. I think the number one problem is that most of our players are not professional. Yes, South Africans, we are good, we can keep, and it shows in the first half, but it's very difficult um, for people that play Hollywood bets and people that play professional leagues, they do this every single day, it's their job. Ellis will also be counting on the creativity of Linda Mutlalo, who plays in the United States of America. And the 26-year-old is adamant that Banyana Banyana can hold their own against the number two ranked team in the world. Uh, looking at the England game, uh, they're very fast, they're very direct and also very physical. And I mean, we've played against such teams, you know, when you look at Sweden and we were able to compete against them. And like I said, if we if we get our structures re uh, prepared and we play a game, yeah, I think we'll be fine. This evening's match in Coventry kicks off at quarter to ten South African time. For SAPC News.